okay viewers so in this video we want to learn about this junction okay this junction so suppose that that uh, you are given two preposition p and q okay p and q uh, disjunction of these two preposition is denoted like this p disjunction q okay and uh, in this case uh, uh, we say that the result is true if uh, any of the statement is true or if both the statements are true but if both the statements they are false then the result becomes false okay so we just uh, see the truth table of uh, this okay uh, i repeat it if any of the statement p or q is true only then the result is true okay or both the statements they are true then also the result is true but if uh, both the statements they are false then the result of the disjunction is also false okay so now we see the truth table of this see here we have two prepositions p and q okay so p might be true q might be true uh, p might be false q might be true okay uh, p might be true and q might be false and both might be false okay so what we said earlier that in case of disjunction okay uh, if both the statements they are true then the answer is true if any of the statement is true then again the answer is true uh, you see that this is true here this is false so one statement is true so the answer is true okay but when both the statements they are false okay then the answer is false okay when this result it will not be executed okay so uh, this is the truth table of uh, p disjunction q now we solve one question that how we can write the disjunction of two statements okay see here we are given uh, this preposition p uh, this preposition is Rebecca's. Rebecca's PC has uh, more than sixteen DB a free art disc. Is. and q is the statement that uh, the processor the processor in rebecca's pc runs faster than One gigahertz. Okay, so P disjunction Q. Uh, we write the statement like this: that either. Then you write uh, this P statement either, Rebecca's PC has more than. 16 GB free hard disk space or okay before writing the second uh, statement you add the word or okay the processor in Rebecca's PC runs faster than one gigahertz. Okay, so in this way you can write the disjunction of these two statements. See, this disjunction is called inclusive OR. Actually, uh, in the discrete mathematics, there are two types of OR. Uh, one is inclusive OR. 
you see here one is inclusive or and other one is exclusive or okay there are there are there are two types of or in logics and proofs first one is uh, inclusive or okay and second one is exclusive okay see in case of inclusive or we say that uh, that uh, a disjunction is true when at least one of the two preposition is true okay uh, for example uh, the students who have taken calculus or computer can take this class okay? uh, if you are using inclusive or it means that the students who have taken calculus or computer okay or both the subjects okay they can uh, they can take the class okay but in case of uh, exclusive or okay uh, when we say that that a student has taken calculus or computer science okay uh, okay but not both okay but not both only then he can uh, take this class okay so if he has a computer as a computer science as a, one of the subject or calculus as one of the subject only then he can take the class okay uh, otherwise he cannot take the class and uh, what we do uh, the symbol for the inclusive or is this okay first of all we draw a circle and then we put positive sign in between this is called exclusive or now we see the truth table of this exclusive or you see that this is the truth table of exclusive or i just uh, explain it uh, truth table of table of exclusive or okay see p and q they are two prepositions so both might be true okay p might be true f might be false okay f p might be false and q might be true or both might be false okay so you see that the exclusive or of both these statements if both the statements they are true okay means student has taken calculus uh, as computer science class okay then he cannot uh, take uh, another class okay so this statement is false okay uh, here the computer the student has taken only calculus class okay but not the computer science so this statement is true because he can take this class okay uh, here he has taken computer science class so this is also true uh, if he is neither the student of uh, computer science class nor calculus class okay uh, in that case uh, he cannot uh, join the class okay so this statement is false so what we conclude from this that when both the statements they are uh, uh, true uh, in case of uh, exclusive or then the answer is false okay and if both the statements they are false still the answer is false okay so when the result is true if any of the statement is true only then the answer is true otherwise uh, it's false okay so uh, all i mean uh, row number two and uh, three uh, it indicates that that uh, here any of the statement is true that is why the final answer uh, is also true okay so more about it will be discussed in the next video